Why buy an expensive USB or Thunderbolt hub or dock that requires external power versus an USB adapter that doesn't require external power? Well, um, the selling point for something like this is this is very compact, very portable and doesn't require external power. But the thing is when you connect a lot of devices to this, like if you connect three external drives to this, chances are the computer or whatever device that you are connected to, that's not going to be providing enough power to power multiple hard drives or SSDs like this. When I connect multiple drives to the USB adapter, I get frequent disconnections. Now, hard drives like this, they do require more power. But the thing is, when I connect multiple SSDs to this, I also get frequent disconnection. And if you want to use the HDMI port, that also requires power because the computer or the laptop has to provide enough power to power the video output. Other downsides for this are you cannot connect multiple monitors to this and there is no power delivery so you won't be able to charge whatever tablets or laptops that are connected to this. So something like this is definitely convenient, very portable and significantly cheaper but this is not suitable for heavy duty use for using together with multiple devices at the same time even though it has all these very useful ports so a usb or thunderbolt 3 dock or hub like this this by the way is the cow digit ts3 plus thunderbolt 3 dock this is powered by external power and you can see there are many ports here USB 3, Type A, Type C, SD card reader, Thunderbolt 3 ports The thing with external power is it can power all these ports so you can connect everything that you have to every single port here and this will still have enough power to drive all those devices so the external power is actually the selling point Another thing to note is at the time of this video, I have not seen any portable Thunderbolt 3 adapters or docks like this. So Thunderbolt 3 definitely needs external power. This is US $250. This is about five times more expensive compared to this. And this is expensive mostly because it has Thunderbolt 3 support. USB 3 docks are significantly cheaper and if you get the powered ones, they are definitely going to work way better, more predictably and consistently compared to something like this. So you do get what you pay for.